Hi, um, and my name's Craig J, J. Davis, and uh, I did promise uh, m myself. I did promise myself that I wouldn't do another video on drinking because, well, I tried that in the past, and I became another cock of that, is didn't it? So, but. Uh, uh, this has been on my m mind for quite some time and my gut instinct to tell me to do this uh, video uh, is this video is going to be in black and white simply because it's sn it's snowing as you can see see the snow snow by here oh, my you know my jumper and it's cold, you can see breath. And uh, well, in this video, I want to talk about a Canadian student called Elisa Lam. She was 21 years old for, from Vancouver, Canada. And she died in the Cecil Hotel in Skid Row in Los Angeles. The United States of America, and it's a it's a, it's quite a, a disturbing how she died. And um, let's walk this way. You know, it's quite just can't go that way. Fuck's sake! Let's go this way then, right? So it's quite disturbing how she died because. You know, how did she... It's, it's disturbing because her death is totally mysterious. She ended up in the water tanks in the Cecil Hotel, right on, on the roof of the Cecil Hotel in LA. And, uh, There's a, a video of her, right? And she's doing some weird shit, right? If you want to see the a video, I will post it in the in the in the description box below for all of you to view and observe. And she's and she it, it goes into the hotel, right? So sorry. She goes into the elevator. She's pressing all the b buttons, and for some reason, the elevator doors don't close. And let me just get past this person. Focus, you bastard! Come on. Sorry about that. I just switched the camera off there a second. She would not get out of my way. So where, where was I? Yeah, right. A little lamp. She goes into the elevator, presses all the buttons. The elevator it doesn't close. And from what I have seen from observing this footage of her because I've seen her uh, well I've seen her d dozens of times now is that right I can't prove by what I'm about to, to say but I've analyzed the for the, the 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 video footage and from what I can gather right this is only a hunch but from what I can gather she's hiding from someone right because she knows her life is in danger but at the same time she's expecting some winner she's expecting some winner someone else to help her right you can I said the video will be in the description box below and uh, you can take a look for your, yourself and she's doing some weird shit like 
You know, she's in the elevator and she does some weird shit with her. Hello. Hello, you. And she does some weird shit with her hands, right? She's in the elevator and she's doing this. And for some reason, the elevator doors are not closing. And there's a scene in the footage where she's standing outside the elevator and she seems to be talking to someone and I'm thinking was she on drugs or under the influence of alcohol at the time because the behaviour is odd it's odd to say the at least now um, I was going to say, yeah, right. Now, there, there has been some history of her where she had, where she had a bipolar disorder, right? So that's understandable for her weird behaviour as, as well. But is it possible that she was under the influence of drinking drugs at the time as well? I would love to, um, I would love to read your comments. Please post them in the comments. Please, all right. Please post them in the description box below. Um, but, uh, and the reason why I've made this video in black and white is because of how it's depressing and how it's disturbing that video is because how does she end up in the water tanks? You know, and the lid on those water tanks were extremely heavy. Right. Elisa Lamb's physique was a petite, right? She was small, so no way, when right, she had a small figure, so no way would she have had the physical strength to to lift the lids off those tanks. Right? At least two to three strong men working together would have had the enough strength to take the lid off that elevator. I mean, off that you know, off that tank. And the only people who had access to the tanks were, were the staff, the people who worked in the Cecil Hotel. And I mean, you know, and th the police said that it was an accidental death. Well, if that's an accidental death, I'm a Dutchman. There's no way it was that fucking accidental. I mean, I believe that this is a conspiracy and a cover-up. And someone who says, oh, it's an accidental death, please don't insult my intelligence. And please don't insult other people's intelligence, right? <laughs> These tanks were not only heavy, but they were t tall, right? They were quite tall, as tall as that thing there. Right? But they were 30 feet tall. How was it an how was you know fuck me? How is it an accident? You know to go into the access point, the fire exit doors that only the staff had access to uh, by the way, climb up the ladder of the water tank, lift off the tank, climb into the tank, and then drown. You know, walking across the road w w uh, in heavy traffic, that's an accident. But then again, that could also be seen as callous in, in this as well. But the point is, right, an accident is caused by unforeseen events. Hello you. 
right? Yeah. Hello. Right. An accident is unforeseen events. What she did, or what other people did, because I believe she was killed, I, I believe it was a homicide, I believe she was uh, murdered. <sighs> to walk through the door, climb up the ladder, take off the lid and get into the tank, that takes physical effort. It's like going into a pub, ordering an alcoholic drink and starting to drink. That is not an accident, that is a self-inflicted choice. And I believe she was into a deep shit, right? It was an accidental death, it wasn't a suicide, right? Because in no way could you get into that tank by yourself. What I believe is, as soon as you see her leaving the elevator, there's at least two people involved. They probably, you know, if this is off camera, so I'm only using my imagination, I'm using my imagination here. Off camera, she was killed, no, I'm, you know, she was uh, knocked unconscious, right, by two heavy strong blokes, or perhaps three, I, I at least, there's at least three people involved, so I think soon. There's a staff, the getter, right, and I can see it now, one of the blokers got her over the shoulders, they climb up the ladder, at least two men then have to lift off the lid and then they put at least a lamb into the water tank, close the lid and then she drowns. But do you know what is also really dis disturbing about the video footage is that she was only discovered, right? Two weeks after her death, when uh, when residents who were staying in the hotel were complaining that the water tasted funny and that the water was discoloured, and they complained to the m manager or the other staff or whatever, right? And basically, the people in charge there, and they investigated it. Uh, of course, the water comes from the tanks, or they went in the tanks, and that's where they found out. And what I find really disturbing is at the time of, of her death, what if, just what if, the hotel had already been ab abandoned? Her corpse would still be there. You know, if that was the case, as I'm doing this video right now, well, in fact, no, in fact, I wouldn't even be doing this video about her because we wouldn't know about her. I would know about her. I mean, how would we? If the hotel was already abandoned at the time of her death, how would we know of of her death? You know, I suppose, uh, but then again, they got her parents, so, you know, they would have been investigating investigating so perhaps they would have found that and anyway but then how you know I mean where would you know because for example say if this Cecil Hotel had been abandoned at the time of her death she would have been staying in an, in another hotel right so at the time when she's fishing the parents uh, would have called the authorities, and the, the, the authorities would have investigated, and they would have gone to the uh, last place where she was seen alive, which would have been in another hotel, and she still wouldn't have been found. You know, in that scenario, she would have been knocked unconscious in that hotel, then dragged to the Cecil Hotel and then put into the water tanks. No, and that's uh, that's just like, that's like yeah, man, it's just it's a it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fucked up world we live in, isn't it? it? Really, is a messed up world, you know.
But see, even even when she was look at the snow, look. Even when she was drinking, it still it doesn't explain. Me. What I'm trying to say is, even if she did drink to the point where she had a blackout, it still it doesn't explain how she ended up in the water tanks. But as I said, I've already given my explanation. But um, but anyway, that's all I have to say. Um, if there's any comments, you know, uh, please uh, leave your comments down below about what you, about what you think. You know, um, I would uh, I'd love to I would l l love to hear your opinion on her case. Um, there'll be some other um, there'll be some other articles about it in the in the description box be below as well. So yeah, please comment, please subscribe. Please don't hesitate to hit that like button. Thank you.